Well, barbecues are lining up across the country as we get set to celebrate the jewel in the footy calendar. It's time for the footy grand final. Hello everyone, I'm Dennis Cometti. Playing on this fabulous stadium today will be the Tigers and the Blues. Today's game from the MCG. For this match, I'm joined by a titan of the Richmond Football Club, Matthew Richardson. Hi, Dan. Richo, this is what every AFL player plays for. What would they be thinking right now, so close to the opening bounce? Their minds, I reckon, will be racing right now, but as soon as the ball bounces, your mind goes straight to the action. Carlton are led by their captain onto the field of play. Banners ready for the players. Banners ready for the players. Two teams competing for football's biggest prize. They should really spend some time lapping this up. They deserve it. Richo, there are more benefits to winning a premiership than just etching your name in the record books. A premiership is a huge draw. Members come back to the fold and sponsors line up to sign new deals. Having a flag can draw players to a club as well. We have the toss of the coin. The Tigers kicking to the right of screen. The players are all eagerly awaiting the siren. And the grand final is underway. The players will have some severe nerves at the moment, but they should calm down after the first bounce. Kruzik nicely outclassing man Kervis. Rands throws it, clear as day. Kruzik rides it inside the 50. Rands decisively. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Graham with the ball. Not what he intended with that kick. Prestia having no trouble taking that one. Kicks hard. Great mark. Kicked by Conker. McIntosh claims it. Jams it on the boot. Great grab. Choose to kick it. Over the top of the pad. Paddy has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week which really helps when structuring the team. Drummond gets possession, gets a handball to the running man. Ellis hand passes the ball. Drummond sinks the long kick. And we have the first goal of the match. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy chip. Kruzik aims for his man on the ground. Dragged down by Graham. Dishes it off by hand. Man Curtis decisively sneaks the ball away in time. Rioli going for number one. The long goal by Rioli. Great start by the Tigers. All is in readiness. The bounce. The Blues are losing the battle at the stoppages. They need to get some more grunt in there, contest well, and be super competitive. If they can't win the hit out, they need to force the secondary ball up if the ball doesn't fall into their hands. Murphy lining up with the goals. Murphy with the shot. It's on its way. Murphy goes long and gets the goal. 
brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Definitely palmed to advantage. Kruzik has the ball. Wishful to think that will reach Crestia. Kruzik sinks it from a long way out. That's two apiece. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Kruzik punches it. Caddy with the kick. Gets the loose ball. The umpire will ball it up. Guided by Cruiser. McIntosh was taken high. Low kick. Nice contested mark by Cripps. Cripps is incredibly competitive and you can count on the fact that if he makes a mistake, apart from being dirty on himself, you won't see another one for a long, long time. The Blues are in front. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Nice bounce. Man Curtis hardly provided a challenge. Graham with the tap. Whack. Of that night gets the loose ball. Handballs to the running man. He runs into the goal. Nice hands. Prestia doesn't even break stride when gathering the loose ball. Just clean hands. That's a nice strong mark. Grant with the kick. That was a great pass. Nice interception. Grips. Shanks it. Murphy marks the ball. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal in the side. A chance to add one more to his tally. The ball picked up. Man Curtis gets the ball. He's got the football now. Kicks it. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Greg seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. Bruiser gathers the ball. Hotchin gets the handball. Grips gets the intercept. He cuts the ball off. Head down, going for goal. Strong mark there. Martin powers the ball for goal. Goal for Martin. Gets his first. As Murray would say, it's getting hot in here. All is in readiness. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Kruzik with the tap. Graham controls. Gives it to the running man. Boots it. Casbolt with the mark. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So the third burn for goal number one. Carlton get a goal. Carlton by six points. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre balance. One down by Fruza. Graham picks up the bouncing ball. Scoops up the ball. Silvani completely shanked that one. Prestia with the kick. Conquer. Marks. Get some power behind that one. Caddy with the mark. Slams it on the boot. Marked by Thomas. He gives the ball a mighty roost. A great effort. Prestia with the kick. Randall takes it well. Nice drop back. Cochin has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. Asprey has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. Asprey needs to work on his vertical leap because at times he can be found wanting when he's leaping for the ball. The taps it. Grieg heading for goal. Grips gets cleaned up. The ball has been grabbed on the bounce. Rogue gains possession. He taps the ball. He taps it. Asprey with the ball. Gives it to the running man. His run-up looks promising. He gets it under pressure. This could even things up. Sometimes Ward's just... Oh, that's his second. Nothing separating these teams now. Martin must have amazing intuition because he can react so fast to situations it's as though he's had premonitions. Guided by Cruiser. Towns in with the might fist. The bouncing ball is controlled. Handball short. Handball's from the tackle. He has the ball. Murphy looking to make them pay for that turnover. I don't think he expected that, and that's what put him unawares. Rowe picks it up. Jams it on the boot now. Cripps with no time to delay with that kick. Cruiser comes away with the ball.
time to see if there's anything interesting in amongst... Let's get back to the action. The second quarter may give us a clue as to how these sides will perform. Landon doesn't waste that opportunity. Kicks it. Kruzik presents and takes the mark. Fails to dispose of it correctly. Good mark by Silvani. Now do you think you can kick this one, Richard? It's an absolute penny from this angle. He holds his breath. That'll be brought up by the coach of training. He puts it out of bounds on the floor. Pumps the big skin. Ball in the sky's attempt to get the ball out of bounds. That should be the one. It's good to leather. McIntosh gathers it, dishes it off to the running player. Prestia may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Graham gains the loose ball. McIntosh with handball, carriage, cuts off the ball. A goal to the Blues. The Blues lead. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Tap to advantage. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Kicks to the attacking 50. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. Gets a handball away. Asprey under the ball. Intercepted. Graham and loads one towards goal. Drifts wide to go through for behind. Carlton by seven points. Prestia has improved his hands to a point now that he can release players from tight pack situations. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Petrovsky Seaton goes for goal. Petrovsky Seaton has got it. The Blues still in front. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. A dead straight bounce. Cruiser gets onto the ball. It's a baller. Kruzik outstretches his opponent to win the run. The ball mopped up, gets a handball away. Approaching the goals now. Prestiak will get the free. Prestiak puts it on the boot. McIntosh takes the mark. McIntosh is quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. Graham getting into position for the kick. Graham has a kick. It's going. Perfect kick. Both Ruckman had their eyes on the ball. More bounce than a dodgy chip. Kruzik taps. Takes control of the bouncing ball. A short handball. Cochin gets the tap. Brig with the football. Nice torpedo, Cripps. Casbol over the top. Lining up the goal now. One for goal number two. Chalk up a goal for the Blues. The Blues wins by 25. Umpire has the ball. Ready for the centre bounce. Man Curtis wasn't even close to that tap, and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win any time soon. Surely that wasn't the plan, Richard. If you're going to kick that poorly, you may as well just give the ball straight back to the opposition. Graham in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. Graham drives the ball towards goal. Score for the Blues. He's back to tackle now. The lead has been increased by Graham. Can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Tap to advantage. Rogue, a good drummer. Caddy gets the ball out of the pack. Certainly, that was not a hand pass. The umpire thinks the same and awards the free. Ellis presents and takes the money. Looks like he panicked there. Opportunity for Earl. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Going for goal number one. The kick just clears the line for a goal. That's his first. Richmond get the badly needed goal. The Ruckmen steal themselves before the bounce. The Rucks can't complain about that true bounce. Nang Purvis, it's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Markov gets possession. Cochin has a kick, it's in the air. Wow, we got a huge kick. Both Ruckmen have their eyes on the ball. More bounce than a dodgy chip. Kruzik aims for his man on the ground. The Blues were very well drilled and highly disciplined. They don't give away cheap free kicks and ensure their opponents earn every possession. Nan Purvis is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Conker takes the mark. He slams that on the boot. A great mark under pressure. Prestia puts his boot on it. That's a nice strong mark. Nice torpedo, Dasbury. 
Caddy claims it. Richmond haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Puts boot to ball. Ellis takes the mark. Sending it on its way. Lloyd with a strong mark. 50 minutes from home. Lloyd shoots for goal. Gluston intercepts the bouncing ball. And off finds Martin. Richmond and one to their tie. The Tigers have scored the last two goals. Their intensity is growing. They want to get back in this. Martin, it's an incredible straight shooter. No angle seems too sharp for him. Pushing him out wide really doesn't increase his chances of missing. In fact, I think he likes the challenge. Drummond just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kick grow. Lining it up with the game now. He boots it. Ellis, with beautiful hands above the head, he really is a great target to kick to. Ellis has a kick. Ellis has slugged it through for a six-pointer. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Asprey looked about as coordinated as Disney's goofy. Murphy with the football. Well, you get the feeling the Tigers were only half-hearted in some of those contests. Yes, the Tigers haven't given away many free kicks, but it'd be nice to see some more aggression out there. He hits it. Grigg taps the ball. Menadieu handballs it. Too slow with the pass. Ellis putting his head down as he runs in. It gets tapped. He's got the ball out even when being tackled. Grips onto the ball. Drummond's given away the free kick. Goes up the line. The contest, no match for him. Picked by Menadieu. Takes it well. Asprey feeds it wide. Hastily kicked. Suckers the ball away. Doherty gathers it. We get a ball up on the wing. Punch by Furza. Thomas picks up the bouncing ball. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. Time to check the stats, Richard. There's the siren to start the second half. The final half of the year, let's get it on. Tap by Furza. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Man Curtis taps it. Cochin comes away with the ball. He receives the handball. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 40 minutes from home. Cluston with the shot. Goal, but he's on song. He sends a very good song. Richmond, no time to drop off. Less than a kick the difference. Umpire has the ball, ready for the center bounce. Cruiser got the hit out, controlled by Graham. Turner with the running catch. Gets it away in the nick of time. The loose ball picked up by Nam Kervis. Jams it on the boot. Almost a touch of synchronized strumming about that mark. Almost the peg marks. He gives it a punishing kick. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Minergy foolishly pushes his opponent in the back. Has it? Yes, he's played it. Takes his time as he lines up the goal. And it's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flame formation. 15 meters on. Calvin has seven points. Passball can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Kruzik taps it. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Ken Oak starts in, his shadow beside him. Where else would it be? Well, the Panthers. Cleanly picked up. We'll have another ball up. Pulls the punches. Short. Sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Murphy just squeezes the kick out. Menadieu gets the ball. Menadieu chips it to the pocket. When you look at the set shots of goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. The Richmond forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. What are you doing, son? Perno puts his boot on it. Takes it well, lining up the goal now. Petrevsky Seaton getting into position for the kick. An ideal position to be kicking from. The Blues for the ascendancy over the Tigers, leading the match 67 to 54. All is in readiness. Here we go. Kruzik hardly provided a challenge. Exclamation point. 
How about that? Controlled by Lord. He just can't get out of the action. Man Curtis runs in. Simpson collects. Intercept by Curtis. He gains possession. A goal for the Tigers. Two goals can bring this back for the Tigers. The Rockman giving each other the ice cold killer stare downs as they wait for the bounce. Kruzik with a mighty fist. Minaju onto the ball. The ball in the hands of Nan Kervis. Graham is happy with that tackle. He's got him for holding the footy. Kicks. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Kruzik winds it up. Going for goal number two. Casbolt marks it. Takes his time as he lines up the goal. And it's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Calvin lead the Tigers by 13. All is in readiness. Both rocks have a fair shot at this one. Man Curtis with the mighty fist kicks however. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Simpson keeps it alive with the foot. Oh, cruising. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Handball finds Conker. Prestia boots it. Man Curtis cocks it up. Edwards picks up the bouncing ball. Goes short for the hand pass. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Drummond throws his heart on his sleeve and he just breaks for this pretty cut. Ellis takes a shot. Ellis puts it through. Richmond for Charlie. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Kruzik punches. Man Curtis grabs him way too high. That's got to be a free kick. Choose to kick it. Conquer takes it. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Man Curtis can roll. My ball says the umpire. Punched by Cruiser. Kicks horribly. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Kicked in a flurry. Pick up by Edwards. Rand's threading the needle right there. Caddy kicks it. No contest for that man. Richmond could take in plenty of marks, but they haven't converted enough into goals. That's why they find themselves trailing. He slams that on the boot. The mark will be paid. Puts boot to ball. Hands like dinner plates. He kicks it. And it's through for a goal. Three goals so far. Well done. The Blues wins by 13. All is in readiness. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Kruzik with a big fist on it. Has it now. Asprey runs past and gets the ball. Doherty couldn't hang on to the ball. Right now, he looks like a man in a darkened room trying to discover where all the furniture is. 45 meters out. A 45 degree angle shouldn't be too hard for Kloster. Lambert gathers. Batted down nicely by Lambert. Bounded by Ellis. Simpson sticks out his hands and collects the ball. He's missed the goal. The Tigers are on the ropes right now. Teammates scrambling to make a lead. The ops to play on with the ball. Choose to kick it. Spilled by Rowe. Picked up the ball. Martin gets a hard bump from Doherty. Rand has it. Well, the Tigers haven't been able to set up many shots of goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning title that way. Hotchin kicks it. Lostin takes a contested mark. He slams that on the boot. That's a nice strong mark. He kicks it. Lambert almost over his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce is straight up and down. Kruzik with the mighty fist. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Kotchin onto the ball. The umpire to ball it up. Tapped by Kruzik. Let's go to the stat sheet now and see how the...
Only one turn to go now. It's the last quarter and there's just no holding back now. Good tap from Cruiser. Rance knocks the ball loose with a big tackle. A lot of possessions for him. Murphy has the chance to add one more to his tackle. The Blues get a goal. Calvin in front by two goals with that score. Brief moment of serenity before the ball was bounced and the Ruckman unleash. One down by Nan Curvis. Able to grab it on the half volley. Jenna trying to strangle him with that tackle. Kicks it. His mistake costs him a possession. Cochin has been a step and a half too slow all game. A solid mark from Silvani. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick the goal in the side. Oh, it's going. Silvani goes by well with it's three. Calvin by three goals. All is in readiness. Both rucks have a fair shot at this one. Man kills. Nicely outclassing Cruiser. Drummond marks. Drummond. This is a decent mark, although he really needs to work on his marking contest because he just isn't making an impression there. That's a nice strong mark. Boston with the shot. It's going. Sends it home with a huge kick. Richmond are on the ropes right now. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Man Curtis outstretches his opponent to win the right. Drummond gets the tap. Simpson with the pickup. Floston handles short. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Tapped by Man Curtis. Guided by Drummond. Ellis taps. He collects the loose ball. Downs in with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Finding the running player. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Hand pass by Cruiser. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Close call, but it's just made it for a score. The Blues by three goals. The Rocks prepare to go at it to this bounce. Umpire bounces the ball. Man Curtis with the tap. Townsend goes to midfield. The contest, no match for him. Picks it. Strong mark by Blander. Blander takes aim for goals. Nice clear. The Tigers will be rallying now. All is in readiness. The umpire has bounced the ball. Clean tap by named Kerbis. Gets a handball away, low kick, great mark. Well, the quality of disposal has been pretty soft out there, and that's enabled the Tigers to rack up the marks. The Tigers need to cut out these junk possessions and become more attacking. Ellis with the shot, the goal for Richmond. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Cruiser hits it. Graham is able to grab it on the half volley. Handballs from the tackle. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. Edwards with another possession. Great mark. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Richard, what are his chances from here? I really bad, Dennis. Kendrick will have to put everything into this one. He's picking from a 45 degree angle. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Nan Curvis, he's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Drummond hits it, sending it on its way. Wietering gathers it. Lambert has given away the free kick. Sending it on its way. Takes that one strongly. Murphy with the torpedo. And the mark will be played. Kicks into the middle. A great effort. It's good to ball. Rance with the mark. Rance just got a strong pair of hands when it comes to marking. Nan Curvis gets it in the back. That's going to be a throw. He kicks the ball. Just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. Graham takes advantage. Hand passes to the running man. He grabs it. Nan Curvis. Handballs it. Townsend gives it back. It takes two to make a finger right. Boots it. Takes it well. Let's hope the shot of goal is as good as the delivery. A monster kick will be required from here. Lander. Let's fly with a shot of goal. That's a very well executed goal. Imagine a big one, but time is certainly against it. A 
brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Bruiser can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Ball up in the settle square. Kruzik with the punch. Approaching the goals now. Mark by Casbo. Takes his time as he lines up the goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Lining up the goal now. 25 meters in. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Kruzik punches. Lucky bounce collected. Ball up in the center square. Bruiser, it's really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. He kicks the ball, hand passes to the running man. Rowe boots it. Short with the kick. Perno takes the opportunity. It's intercepted. Caddy goes for home. Caddy gets a huge goal. I think it's all over, but there is some time left. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce, laser straight. Punch by a cruiser. Graham gets it on the bounce. He gets a kick out of the pack. Thomas swoops on the loose ball and will have a change of possession. Casbolt with the run. Casbolt. Is it? Is it? Oh, what a goal! Half a dozen goals in this display. Casbolt can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Here's the bounce. Cruiser guides it. Short. Gets it on the bounce. Rounds bumped off the ball. Grant with the kick. Asprey has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. No questioning whether Richmond can take a mark. I think everyone has seen enough cheap marks taken out there. The Tigers need to start kicking more direct for goal. Casbolt marks the ball. He lines it up with the goal. Casbolt goes for goal. The Blues get the goal. Down in front over Richmond. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Rance gets on with the ball. Cherno with the ball. The ball bounced favorably for Murphy. The Blues have won the grand final. Well, the season might be over, but the party is just beginning for the winners. You can see it on the faces of these 22 players that they gave it everything they had. Always hard to lose the grand final. Losses on the big stage can really haunt you. The what ifs, the if only I had done that. Unfortunately for them, their history books can't be rewritten, but that doesn't make it easier to accept. How did you see the game, Richard? We have to feel a little bit for Richmond. They've worked really hard to get into a good position to win this match, and they've let a golden opportunity slip through their fingers. The... It truly is amazing. They've been giving up to 110%. Every piece of energy their bodies had to offer has been given, but now all the pain forgotten as they enjoy this adulation. Fantastic effort. They can soak up this moment knowing they're in the history books as champions.